In this video I'm going to talk about the uh, static content or uh, better or newly called hero scenes. I will talk about all of them and uh, explain what uh, each look like and what they uh, display. Now if you're wondering why st the name static content or why the uh, the hero scenes well hero scenes are uh, trendy uh, name used in modern uh, web design while static content was the name uh, added uh, for these types of uh, elements back in the previous uh, versions so um, basically this these elements are neither uh, sliders they're neither uh, subheaders they're not uh, sections they're just blocks of different content with uh, uh, nice uh, nice options and nice uh, layouts so moving on in this video I'm going to talk about the static content weather box uh, element and if you want to locate it just go to hero scenes uh, weather panel and as you can see here we have a nice little demo uh, of it it's basically a background with uh, some text a call to action and the uh, weather widget with all sorts of uh, infos so I'm going to I'm going to edit this uh, page with a page builder and I'm going to access uh, the settings with the page builder in case you cannot reach uh, the this uh, bar because of the header just hide the header using this uh, switcher right there and you can make it uh, the first option is whether you want this element to be full screen or not uh, in this example it's a uh, full screen so if you're going to disable this full screen mode uh, custom height uh, custom height uh, field will appear and you can choose uh, whatever uh, height you feel like so for example uh, 750 pixels will look like this so Moving on, you have this uh, scrolling effect. If I enable it, and you have here more uh, multiple uh, effects for the uh, parallax scrolling effect, just save it. And I'm going to publish this and open into the view page mode. And if I scroll down, you can see that the video behind is scaling and this content right here is sticking at the center not sure if you notice this it's actually a very cool effect you can um, you can see that it also fades so it's a nice scroll it's a nice and cool uh, scrolling effect uh, for the element so moving on you can uh, change the main title this one right here you can change the subtitle this one right here and the uh, this text is actually a bit um, uh, it's not uh, the correct uh, title for this uh, whole option but this text is uh, this one you can see right here under the button and then we have the uh, button link text see you our offer and the button link where you want this button to link of course some title if you want a uh, uh, proper anchor title and you can choose whether you want this to link in the same window and or a new window moving on you can uh, enable the uh, weather 
the weather widget panel I don't know how to call it the weather part and basically if you know this here you can just disable it and this part won't uh, won't appear anymore but if uh, if you choose to uh, enable of course the this part here's how to set up now uh, you will need uh, this particular script needs to feed to feed its data from a specific location I think it's uh, Yahoo weather which uh, is uh, feeding uh, its, um, its data so you must add a location OEID yeah I know I don't know what that means but you can get one here yeah Yahoo OEID look up so just search for I don't know New York United States and it's going to suggest this code right here and I'm going to go back and add it so I'm just going to say New York here you can choose how you want the um, the unit to be displayed uh, for example here as you can see it's the um, it's the, the degrees are in uh, Fahrenheit uh, uh, unit but you can uh, also change to Celsius now Celsius will still remain but will remain here smaller for I don't know for different kind of metrics country to see it and Fahrenheit will be uh, main but you can switch them if you choose Celsius Celsius will move here and Fahrenheit down here so let me just save this as you can see uh, not sure if you noticed but it has changed and um, that's about it it's a very simple uh, very simple tiny widget which can do the job of uh, displaying some uh, weather infos now you can uh, I don't know use this uh, use this uh, element for a location uh, for uh, if you're promoting uh, I don't know a hotel or just a, an island I have absolutely no idea it's I think it's a matter of imagination if you consider this worth uh, using so these are the general options of this uh, element uh, we also have the background and style options now as you can see here a self-hosted video is used into the background the sources are loaded you can also choose a poster and some settings right here the idea is that I won't talk about these uh, options because um, um, these options are very common in the uh, elements and um, instead of talking uh, 10 minutes about these options in each video I choose to create another separate video and talking about all these uh, options right here so that's about it with the static content weather box options to locate it just the fastest way is to uh, search for weather right here and the static content element will appear here so I'm just going to drag it and start to configure it so that should be it if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask me and if you uh, encounter any troubles with the element um, Feel free to subscribe to our uh, support forums and my colleagues will uh, assist you there. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.